What's <laughs> no, I'm joking. What's good, man? Back again. Consistency, like I said. Um, so, what? Since I made my comeback, I'm showing you guys that I've been to. I've also shown you a simple guide of how to build your abs. Um, a simple guide, well not really simple, but uh, an additional lower body workout, which can obviously complement the upper body workout. And now, I'm just gonna give you guys another guide on how to build these tennis ball biceps. You know, a lot of people tell me, how do you get your peak on the biceps? Obviously, one, you have genetics, so sometimes you're born with maybe a longer bicep head or a short bicep head. What's going on, mate? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Just give us a sec, yeah? Alright, don't go anywhere. Yeah, like I was saying with genetics, innit? Some people are born with a long bicep, some people are born with a short bicep. I, was, I think I was personally born with a short bicep. You can kind of tell as you start to exercise your bicep along the way on what type of bicep you're, it's suited for your physique, sorry. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a few exercises that you may wanna use when you have an arm day. And then yeah, again, you may take it, you may not, doing it for the guys that obviously requested. Boom. All right, cool guys, so we're gonna kick it off with no other than the barbell bicep curl. Um, in a way you can kind of treat it as a compound for arms. Obviously gym heads will know what I mean, but it's basically just a strong compo component while training arms is something that is a must to get in with your arm workout. Um, obviously it's the first exercise, so in terms of weight, in a way just do what's comfortable for you, but always try to go to a failure. That's how I go around my workouts. So for anyone that didn't know, when I work out, I always try my best just to attack the weight and see where I can get to. I never really work to a rep range, rep, yeah, rep range in it. But when it comes to obviously like bulking or obviously cutting, bulking you want to focus on heavy weight but lower reps. So maybe like between three to, three to five reps, maybe even six. When it comes to cutting and you obviously want to add a bit of intensity to the workout, then you want to obviously rep between eight to about 15 reps, yeah? Or not even that, let me make it better. 12 to 15 reps for cutting. So um, yeah, again, like I said, I just attack the weight, no matter what it is, and just go to a failure. The more time you go to a failure, the more fatigue your muscles become, the more the fibers start to work together, and then eventually start growing, depending on what you eat after, and also depending on what your goal is. So cool. You can obviously all, um, alternate your grips. You can obviously have close grip. Yeah. Or you can have a slight or wider grip. Why get for me less you races? Pulling all up on my necklace, pulling all up on my chains. Yo, don't hide you feel away. Only lie when I lay. When I think you guys obviously know what it kind of looks like. I'm not really a fan of having more than the second grip I showed you. So I'd roughly just keep it between those two grips. Cool. My queen ain't no trophy, broski, she a gold mine. I put lean inside my sprite and it made me shut both eyes. This ain't half time, how you playing both sides? Obviously we've just done the barbell bicep curl. Second one now, we're gonna start working, yeah? This is gonna be a, a mixture of intensity, but also heavy weights and also a lot. But everyone is trying to be on my line today. Don't go anywhere. Let me call you back, bruv, I'm videoing. I'm trying to get the content for these guys, man. Like I was saying, we're gonna add a bit of intensity, reps and heavy weight. So cool, what we got here, We've got um, the short barbell, only 30 kg, yeah? And then we've got the 10 kg um, dumbbells, yeah? What that basically was, 
was with the straight bar, yeah, you want to do 20 reps, yeah, full contraction. Get the bar all the way to the bottom and back up, yeah, 20 times. And then as soon as you finish that, you come straight to the bench, you get the 10 kgs and you lift them up same time and come all the way down. I usually do that for about, what, five sets? Crazy, 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 crazy pump, as you can see already, yeah? Obviously, after doing the bicep um, barbell curl, your arms are now ready, yeah? They're ready, they're ready for war, innit? Yeah, and that's what it's all about. Every workout that you do, it's ready, it has to be ready for war. It has to be ready for something that is obviously never experienced before. And for all the people that obviously want to grow, and whatever they want to grow within their body, you have to remind yourself that every time you come to the gym, your mindset has to be up there. Yeah, it has to be up there. If you come to the gym with a downgraded mind, you're not going to get the workout. Yeah, you're not going to be able to focus on the muscles that you want to focus on. You're not going to be able to focus on the growth that you want to focus on. You have to come to the gym with a mindset so heavy that it's just unbearable. Do you know what I'm saying? So these type of workouts that I'm trying to give you. They're simple, but you can add the intensity yourself as hard as you want, innit? So, yeah, 20 reps, 10 reps, full contraction, yeah? Five, five sets. Promise you, on my life, you will cry after that. You ever want to do it. Probably on the first set, you probably quit. So, I beg you, try that. And if you can, try your best to let me know in the comments what you obviously think of that little super set right there, yeah? Yeah, so cool. The third exercise, we obviously done barbell bar and um, bicep curl. We obviously done that little superset that I gave you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Now we're just literally going to control the exercise, and what you're going to do is you're going to do seated dumbbell curls. Yeah, whatever weight you feel, but as long as you get the technique and the form correct, and you can squeeze right when you get to the top, I'm all cool. Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to stay seated, back straight, turn the dumbbells one at a time, come up. Try your best to obviously use your arms as much as you can and not allow your shoulders to work when you get to the top, yeah? So you obviously turn, come up, squeeze the bicep, come back down, yeah? Alright, cool, so the fourth exercise, I've come to the cable machine. Obviously we've smashed the three exercises before and then I believe now it's obviously time to just get a nice slow controlled contraction on the arms so I've gathered the ropes which a lot of people decide to use for what a ridiculous you see this you see this gym yeah <laughs> this gym is the worst man. but yeah I decided to get the ropes which you can usually use for um, triceps but I feel that for biceps you can obviously obviously add a lot more size to your arms while doing this yeah so I'm gonna obviously start here Lift it up, just come up like this. Make sure you tense and keep the biceps intact at all times, yeah? So, with doing this exercise, anytime you train arms and it comes to like the cable machine, for example, in my gym and a lot of other gyms I've seen, I usually see like, for example, if you're doing triceps, I usually see the shoulders being involved quite a lot. What you gotta remember, all you're doing is this rotation, yeah? So you're going here, and you're coming up. That's it. You realize that my shoulder has not moved at all. When your shoulder moves, it's obviously a case of where the weights are a bit too heavy. So that's why you try to just minimize your weight, obviously not as low, but to a weight where you know you can get a good control, a good squeeze and a good contraction, yeah? When it comes to triceps, for example, I see a lot of people, again, use their shoulder. All you're doing is this, yeah? Same with biceps. Bicep and triceps, same thing. Start here, you finish here. Yeah, that's bicep, tricep. Come here, come up here, yeah? That's it, that is all you're doing. I don't wanna see, I don't wanna see that. I just, oh, it, it actually annoys me. And now that like, being a PT, seeing these things visually in your eyes, like on a day-to-day -day basis, 
if you're watching this video and you make the same mistakes, it's mistakes, it's okay. It's okay. Like it's not a problem to make a mistake. As long as you have the courage to obviously overcome that mistake and just learn from your mistake. Exactly what I've done, I've made mistakes and I've learned from it now, as you guys can see. So I just hope that you guys, if you're making the same mistakes, it's okay. But just obviously have the courage to listen to someone that's obviously a bit more experienced, that you may know, to learn from that and then obviously make yourself better with in terms of form and whatever you do with the exercise, yeah? All right, cool, so we're at the arm curl. Um, I would say pretty much the last exercise of the day. Um, it's gonna be a super set and yeah, I'll show you how it goes. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your arms are flat on the bench, you've got a good grip like this and you're able to fully contract your um, biceps while doing it. So you want to start here, and come all the way up here and squeeze and come back down and squeeze, come back down and squeeze. And then after that, you want to switch the weight and do one arm. Again, come as low as you can and come up and squeeze. The idea of this is just to get the contraction right. Squeeze the bicep as much as you can. For this one, you want to start on the weight that you're able to achieve 20 reps on. And then when it comes to one arm, you want to do 10 reps each on each arm, yeah? Um, I think by that time, your, your biceps should be completely fatigued and finished and ready for a meal to work with the fibers to then grow. Um, I don't think, do you know what I mean, there's any more you can do. In terms of your workouts, it should all be about, um, what do you call it, quality instead of quantity, you know? You save time. If you can save time and in a short amount of time you can get a good workout in, then I don't see what's, I don't see anything wrong with, with uh, those type of workouts, you know? Save your time, think of a plan, come in, short amount of time, you know that you've completed your workout and whatever body part you want to train, and you're sorted for the day. And if you train it well, you may not need to train it maybe twice a week, or even three times a week. That one session can keep yourself pumped for the whole week. And it's happened, it happened with me before. So, before you come in, like I said, mindset correct, come with a plan, come with a mind of determination to get something done. Yeah, and if your mindset is high, you will do well in your workout and you will know that within your mind and when you're doing your thing, the muscle-mind connection will come in. So every time you intact your exercise and every single rep that you do, you are fully intact, you are contracted, you know what you're doing. Yeah, it's the only way. But um, yeah, 10 reps, no sorry, 20 reps, and then 10 reps with a single arm. And then that's the arm workout done. Finito, no more. All right, cool, so that's a wrap. Obviously, guys, I showed you five exercises, which started off with the um, barbell bicep curl. Then it started off with uh, the superset that I gave you with the short barbell and the dumbbells. Then I came up here and I showed you a cable version of bicep curling. And then I've also now finished on the arm curl. I personally think for me, quant um, quality over quantity, you know, depending on the reps and the sets you do, you can definitely fatigue your biceps um, as much as I always fatigue them, you know, and um, with that, you know, I hope that you can again apply that to your workout or even take some bits from it. Take all of it, it doesn't matter. I feel good within myself knowing that I can give something back to you guys. Um, and yeah, like I've said in my previous videos, I'm keeping the consistency up. I'm making sure that you know I can get a good amount of videos within a month's time, you know, so you guys know what you're doing. So you, know, you guys know that you can get good, um, different and new ideas to apply to your workouts. Something that you may never have tried before that I've just done, take it, you know? That's what I'm here for, I'm here to help. Um, you know, in regards to Earn The Muscle, you know, the website should be sorted very, very soon. You know, all the lines should be out very, very soon. So, you know, I'm very excited when it comes to these things, you know, because the point where I've done it myself and, you know, I've literally done it myself and I've thought of something that will benefit you guys and that can hopefully be a movement that has obviously never been done or portrayed before in it. So, you know, I'll keep you guys updated all the time for our Instagram, Snapchat, you name it. You know, just obviously keep an eye out and when you do, try your best to obviously like, comment, subscribe and share for me, okay? Bless up. See you soon.